Hello, uh, my name is Ayal Gobeshi. I'm going to present this paper, uh, which was entitled under uh, redefinition of heritage public spaces using PPGIS. I wrote this paper under the collaboration with Dr. Yasmin Samiri. Uh, she's the supervisor of my thesis, as this is research is part of my thesis. Um, um, we are going to talk about a special part of the a special category of the public spaces, which which public spaces, uh, which is attached to heritage site or building. All of us we know that the history is the backbone of any societal community or development. Uh, so this is uh, this space is an integral part also of the history. And the main key for protecting this space that to be mapped in a, a huge database which is accessible for the user. The traditional way is not enough for um, collecting these masses of data. Uh, so in uh, this is research we are going to know a new way how to determine and where users use the most space and know their opinion based on my case study. So we decide to choose the PPPTIS uh, technologies uh, as this technology will help us to involve the community with us uh, to know uh, their opinions about the case study. So we choose the case study of religion, uh, religious complex in Old Cairo as this is a uh, complex is unique and attractive for the users uh, and it was neglected for a lot of years and the public space were neglected for a lot of years. Um, First, before, before we go into the case study, we have to know what is that digital heritage. The digital heritage, um, the me it's the meaning of the past or saving the past. So we have to save the past uh, to be useful for all the upcoming uh, generations. A lot of researchers have, have enhancing the connection of heritage and the planning management to the daily life of the communities to be useful for all the generations. Uh, also the UNESCO uh, referred that the born digital and um, um, it is a unique resource of the human should be converted into a digital form from the existing analog uh, resource digital heritage is not a more than um, is more than merely a tool to present our community with the end users here is the relationship between GIS and PPGIS. Here, the PPGIS was developed in 1989 to involve the community actions. Uh, to make the this space is um, to hold its successful heritage public space. So a lot of research while using PPGIS, and they um, say that, he had, that we have to use GIS to make the process uh, transparency and to make it um, accessible for all the user. PPGIS last year has gained significant interest as a tool or can enable society to create a framework for the future planning. Although uh, to include more comprehensive way of engaging local communities and individual in a method called the participatory mapping. This mapping I done I do it in my case study. Here the five stage while analyzing visualization situation integration numerous stakeholders perspective. PPGIS should have a criteria. The criteria that I feel in this research was based on the uh, I decided um, related to the space I choose. The heritage public space is the only way that we can enhance it, that we apply a public a public place making using ambience to keep its normal historical ambience and don't uh, change the, the ambience of the space. Um, the materials and method to achieve the aim of the research would put a four steps or proceed a four steps. First step, we select the criteria which bases on the placemaking. Second, we build a new and construct the PPGIS interface. Third, we do the survey in the Google map. Finally, after we enter the map to the GIS, we perform a statistical aspectical analysis and qualitative interruption. We're done. Uh, this is the PPGIS interface. After we finish this step, we um, translate the maps into a GIS. Here is the, the base map of, uh, of the studied area uh, done by GIS. Here is the participatory map after we uh, make a 200 ballot survey and map 1,500 one, 1, youth referencing opinions. This is the result we get from this uh, participatory maps. 
first we 30 percent of the participants say that we have we need 30 and 35 percent of the participants say that we need unnecessary activities 30 percent need services activities 10 percent say that it's unsafe but the surprise on the other figure we found that 70 percent say that we strongly agree to engage with you in this process and say our opinion based on the criteria you have uh, said Finally, we found that this criteria or this PPGIS technology is benefit for all uh, the researcher and it can be used as a management, management strategy for environmental growth project and it can be a basis for the design maker while, uh, in these approaches. So the PPGIS uh, can help in um, can help in evaluating the social and the spectacle experience of the local uh, population. Thank you very much.